she stared at her new Christmas hubby in amazement and looked up and said, did we even ask for this? <laughs> when Sarah was a little girl, she first learned of these very special cows that are unique and native to Louisiana, called Levy cows. These cows are really special because their legs on one side of their body are shorter than the legs on the other side, so that they can graze along the levee and not fall down. <laughs> The funny thing about this story is that actually I heard this story from three people separately. And all three of them said at the very end, she might actually think this is cool. I'm trying to picture these cows and we turn to my pragmatist. My first question is, how would they turn around? <laughs> with her dad in the Gulf of Mexico, and as she struggled with the 11 mile open water cross against the river, her dad repeatedly pleaded with her to allow him to touch a tow rope, partly to keep them together and partly so he could help pull her a little bit. But that would have ruined the accomplishment for her. She wanted to do it independently. Eventually, exhausted, Sarah called out to him, pulled up along, and asked him if he, as a PR doc, had any suggestions for how to bandage her bleeding hand. He did, and then she continued on her own, and she made it. Over the next two days, they went another 20 miles, and she still loved the same guy. Actually, the only times it seemed that Sarah has questioned her path was around medicine. There were many times she quietly stated that she thought it'd be so much easier just to be a gardener or a carpenter, perhaps. But even more often, she would just randomly say, man, it's so cool to be a doctor. Some of us worry about her here because she has such an enormous capacity for empathy, and patient's pain would become her own, and it would affect her deeply and to her core. All of the faculty have noticed her unique ability to sit and be wholly present for someone and take in everything that they say. In her posture, her face, and her words, she lets people feel as though they are the only thing in the world that matters. She listens to the ears. And she gets people. Once when I was shadowing her with a very difficult and excitable patient, that I'd already diagnosed in my mind is crazy. <laughs> I was very curious to hear what Sarah would say when she finally had a chance to say anything. Sarah listened, processed, and after a long period of silence, silence opened up and said, I don't think you're a head case. <laughs> I was really surprised, but apparently it was exactly the right thing. As a patient, smile, venture, calm down, and they made progress in that. <laughs> and holds herself to a very high standard. She really won't take or believe compliments from colleagues or faculty, and sometimes even tears up when people genuinely express appreciation for her efforts and recognition of her excellence. It seems that only Sarah can compliment Sarah, and interestingly, she does this. When she feels that she has done something particularly well, she congratulates herself by silently saying, Perfecto, shine on! <laughs> making herself available, doing research and tracking down answers for, and help for them. She's loyal to her colleagues, frequently offering to take extra shifts when needed and take on extra assignments when there are voids. And most of all, she is loyal to her family. One summer when she was 12, she watched her older brother Nathan take running leaps off the roof and into the swimming pool. And Sarah just had to be a part of this adventure. The two things she didn't count on or how hot the roof was, making running and planting for a big leap, leap more difficult than she had thought, and how much farther the eight foot distance from the roof to pool actually seems when you're trying to jump it. So she didn't quite make it, landed right in the pool's edge, and howled in pain. Her brother freaked out. We are going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> they went to the ER with her mom, did some x rays, and kept getting the same question over and over again. So you jumped off a lawn chair? <laughs> As it turned out, she had fractured her heel. But she stuck to her story for years. <laughs> Other great stars, Sarah Qualities. Surprisingly, there were several people who mentioned her excellence at sucking crawfish heads. <laughs> Rare to 
see someone on their first encounter with one go so quickly, eagerly, and head first into a hole to grab a buoy duck. As one faculty commented, you have to respect someone who will get down and dirty with the biggest cram in the Northwest. <laughs> By far, the runaway top mention in my survey of Sarah's best quality was her niceness. I consulted a thesaurus, and I just think that there really isn't a word for what Sarah is. She is just so nice. She has a kind and gentle soul and is good to everyone. One resident commented that Sarah always says things that not only make me feel better about myself, but make me feel better about the world and humankind in general. While completing peer evaluations of the group, the residents easily designated Sarah as the nicest resident. But this unfortunately led to contentiousness as naturally the conversation turned to who would be the second nicest. <laughs> And in the end, they agreed that actually, no one else really was nice. <laughs> one of them went as far as saying, other than Sarah, we're all bitches. My selfish hope that she'll keep herself available long enough that there'll be an opening in my clinic and I can one day call her my own partner. Sarah, it's truly been a pleasure, and for a job well done, perfecto, shine on. <laughs> Chris is a very unique 